Now before I show you what's inside of this box, I'd like to remind you that I have placed a link in the description down below if you'd like to look at the system further or acquire one for yourself. After I show you the contents of this kit, I'm gonna take it out and we'll test it out and see how well it performs. And the main component of the Gura Tire Pressure Monitoring System is the display. And another neat thing about this unit is that it is rechargeable, so there is no need to have a wire going to our cigarette lighter port, it is completely wireless. Now we could choose to permanently have it wired to our car, but I like that the fact that they gave us the ability to have it recharged and then it will last a period of time before we need to recharge it again. And to mount the display, they have provided two ways of doing so. One is with this little suction mount, which is great because we can put it in a place and if we don't like it, we can pop it off and put it somewhere else. And the mount also has some adjustability for us to aim the display towards us. And the second way of mounting it is with this little bracket. And this method is a little more permanent because they include four screws and the idea is that you will find a place in our car and we will screw this down permanently onto our vehicle. And here's what the tire pressure sensors look like. Now what's interesting is that this system supports a total of 12 sensors. That is, if our vehicle had 12 tires, we can monitor all of them at the same time. Now my vehicle only has four tires, so I only need four sensors. Now the sensors do require a battery. They are not rechargeable. They require the standard CR2032 battery, which is a long life battery. So it should last for a long time. Now I do want to show you the size of the sensors, I'll put it in my hand first so you can kind of see what that looks like. Remember these things are meant for a large vehicle and you can see on here that if I were to measure it's about an inch tall. So if you were to try to use this in a car, would it work? Probably, but it's probably going to stick out quite a bit. And you can also see that the diameter is about one inch. Now on the bottom of the sensor you can see that this literally replaces our current stem cap. So I will remove the cap and then I will screw this on onto our tire and I will be able to sense the tire which is great. I don't think installation can be any easier than that. But how do we replace the battery on this sensor once it actually runs out? Well if I pop the little cap on here you can see that the battery is there so it can be replaced and this thing can be reclosed again. Now there is a little o-ring on here and there is a special tool that they provide to fully close and lock this because this is rated against weather so it will be water resistant when it's mounted in our car as long as we close this completely and the o-ring is in good shape. And as far as the accessories we get this little micro USB cable to charge the display or just to keep it on all the time. And then we also get a baggie with extra hardware, extra o-rings and extra lock nuts to make sure that those valve stem cap replacement sensors do not come off. And then we also get this little special tool as I mentioned earlier which will allow us to open this and swap out the battery and then close this and re-lock it again. And we also get a couple of identification labels which can be placed on the tire sensors because remember they're all identical so if I take them off the car and I mix up their position I may not remember which one was in the front or on the back or on the left or on the right so it is handy that they included those labels. And finally they included three pieces of information. This simple two-pager installation guide for how to install the actual sensors. They included this quick installation guide, again just a nice little two-pager on how to program and use this little display. But if you love reading and you like to get into the depth of the system, they included a full user guide that will go through all the little details of the full capability of this system and what it can do for you. Before I mount the sensors onto the tires, I'm going to assign them or program them. And as you can see, I have place labels that they have provided in each one of the sensors. Now, where I put the label doesn't really matter because the sensors have been programmed. But once I program them, the number is going to allow me to identify where did I program them to, either the driver, passenger side, front or rear. So I'm going to move this one side of the way. I'm going to start with number one. I'm going to turn this unit on. And I get, notice it's rechargeable. There's nothing plugged in. And I'm going to go ahead and select the code button. And FFF means that it is ready to accept a sensor. Nothing has been programmed and you can see a representation of the vehicle and this happens to be the front passenger side. So now I can go ahead and grab the sensor, put it next to the unit over here and I'm going to select the code button once. Okay, and we can see that we have successfully 
compare that sensor and we can see a different code on here for the front passenger one. I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna repeat the process now for the rest of the tires. Here is the driver's side. I'm gonna go ahead and change in here, tire. Here it is, now we moved on to the driver's side. Okay, now that it's here, press the code button. Okay, it has been programmed. So I have programmed all four sensors. Now to finish or exit the programming and I'm gonna select the code, I'm holding it. Okay, and the system has been programmed and it's already picking up the sensors and the information that is coming from them. So I'm gonna install them in the car now so we can get an accurate, accurate reading. All right, let's mount this sensor. I'm gonna remove the original cap that I have on my valve stem. Then I'm gonna install the lug nut that they provided first, followed by the sensor. And the last step on their instructions is to lock the nut using the key. So I'm gonna turn this until it's nice and secure. And now that I mounted all four sensors, you can see here how it looks in real life in terms of the size against the uh, tire size. Now on an RB tire, which is really massive, an RB rim, this is gonna look tiny. This is a car tire and you can get an idea of what that would look like if for some reason you wanted to run this on a normal car. And here's the Gouda tire pressure monitoring system. As you can see, there is no wire hooked up to it. It's completely wireless. And I have mounted it on the windshield and we can see that it is detecting the tires. I have a total of four tires and it's actually cycling through the four tires. So you can see that the pressure right now in back here is 30 PSI and the temperature is at 54 degrees. Uh, the pressure over here is at 29 PSI and that tire is at 57 degrees, 30 PSI and that tire is at 54 degrees. Quite a bit of information if you think about it, being that we have both the pressure and the temperature. Now, the way that a tire pressure monitoring system works, those sensors have that very small battery that is meant to last a long time. So in order for, the, for it to do that, the sensor sends a signal every once in a while, especially if there are no changes on tire pressure. So when you first turn on the good at tire pressure monitoring system, you are not gonna get any kind of reading until all the sensors communicate with the system. So it doesn't happen instantaneously. Now the Gouda instruction manual says it can take about 15 minutes, which is probably about average for all tire pressure monitoring systems, even the ones that are built in into brand new cars. Now in practice, what I seen with the Gouda system, it normally takes about five minutes or a little bit less for all four sensors to be detected and to start communicating with the unit. And when you're driving, that's all you really need to know what the pressure is and that there are no sudden changes in pressure. If all of a sudden we were to lose PSI in one of the tires, we will get an alert because the sensor will detect, I'm losing pressure fast, I better let the system know so it can be displayed for the driver. Now that happens when the tire loses more than three PSI in one minute. So that's gonna be a, a rapid deinflation of the tire. We will get an alert. Also, we can set alerts for low tire pressure. Same thing, if the tire pressure is too high, the system will also let us know if it's too high. And same thing for the temperature. The system is able to alert us when we have a very high tire per temperature, which can happen if the tire's under stress. And if you reach a high temperature in the tire, especially in an RB where it can generate those hot tire pressures due to the weight, the tire can blow up. But now let me show you how to set the target tire pressure and the temperature alert. If I hold down the set button for about three seconds, the system is gonna go into setup mode. And you'll notice that first off, we can change PSI to bar, and I believe that in PSI. If I hit set one more time, we can change between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And if I hit set one more time, we can set when the temperature is too hot for us. In this case, I have it set at 180, but let's say I wanna be notified at 169. How about 165? That sounds like a nice number. I'm gonna hit set on here. And here's where we set the target tire pressure. Now, RVs and trailers are using higher, way higher pressure than cars. So I'm gonna simulate right now, let's say I wanted to have a target tire pressure of 45 PSI. Now we know the front tire is at 29, so that is definitely gonna be outside of the range where this system is not gonna like that and it's gonna let us know, hey, that tire is way too low. And I'll bring the rear same thing. I'm gonna bring him to 45 and I'm gonna hold down the button now for about three seconds one more time to program the system. And this is how it will look. I'm just driving and all of a sudden a tire pressure has gone below the 25% threshold. 
it is telling me right now and it's telling me which one too the rear is too low because it's a 30 and if i acknowledge that alarm which both this visual here and audible i can click on this right here and i can look at the other tires as well and confirm yep that's also giving an alarm how about the front ones also too low and that one definitely too low so again i like both that we have both an audible and a visual alarm right here now the other cool thing about this system that i noticed is that it's actually backlit so this is an lcd screen but if you were to be at night there is a little sensor on here and i don't know if you'll see it but i'm going to cover that sensor <laughs> and you can see how it, it's backlit in a nice uh you know kind of a white color which is pretty good it's going to be easy on the eyes i'm going to take this off again one more time and you'll see that screen return to normal daytime operation which saves battery and the system will also let us know when one of the batteries is low on one of the tire pressure sensors you would have one of these tires flash perhaps if that's the one that has a low battery and we will have a battery symbol that comes up on here which allows us to identify which is the sensor that we need to replace the battery on now those sensors like I said those batteries last a long time that's why they only send signals when there is a change in tire pressure or change in temperature now the system right here itself that has its own battery and you can see that there's a battery indicator here here, so we will be able to see when it's time to recharge the actual screen so overall i think this is a good solution for those of you who are looking for a tire pressure monitor system that does not need to have the tire removed and an expensive sensor installed as you saw i literally removed the cap from my tires installed the locking nut install the sensor lock the sensor in place and i am good to go now the other thing that it makes it easy is to replace the battery the system is serviceable so i can replace the battery i can replace an individual sensor by myself without having to go to the dealer so if you guys want to look at the system further remember i placed the link in the description down there for you and if you have any questions regarding the tire pressure monitoring system please put that in the comments down below if you found any part of this video helpful please hit the thumbs up button to support the channel and stay tuned as i have a lot more cool gadgets for your car coming up so make sure you guys are subscribed and thank you guys for watching and as always i'll see you on the next one